cool effect. Hi guys, welcome back to Neela's Creative World. Today we're going to be doing some hydro dipping. So first you're going to take objects that can be dipped in water without breaking it or ripping and stuff. And you want to tape up the parts that don't want to be hydro dipped. So maybe caps and stuff like that. So basically hydro dipping is taking a tub of water, spray painting the water, and then dipping anything you want inside to have a nice marble design on the object. Now the object can be any color you want, it doesn't matter. And before we begin, we're gonna take um, all of our objects and spray paint them in white so we have a nice base coat. And let me introduce you to my two new guests. We have Bella, Bella um, Neela's cousin, and I'm Neela's cousin, brother. Guys, wave. So that's Bella with the nail polish, and my brother is the one without nail polish. Okay, let's get to it. come from a distance and you do it like this. If you go so fast, it'll drip like that. You see it dripping? You don't want it to drip, you want it to be smooth. I thought we had to wear masks. Yeah, we do. So be at a distance, like this much distance, and spray. So we finished painting the two bottles, the two flower pots, and the other beer bottles. Now we're going to fill our tub up with water and we're going to start hydro dipping. <laughs> So now that we've fin finished putting the water in, we're gonna do different colors of spray paint and put them in the water. Cool. All right, so we're gonna take orange, gray, and black, and we're gonna create a pattern for us to dip a flower pot in. Do you orange, Bella? You gotta shake it well. There. So we got some orange, now add the black or gray. And we're gonna swirl it around, make a nice cool effect. Keep spraying. All right, now, Bella, take your flower pot and dip it in. Now I'm going to do mine. So for mine, I think I'm gonna do something like what Bella did, just gray and orange. So the problem is we don't have a lot of options here. Gray doesn't really show. Okay, so I'm gonna do black, orange, basically the same thing. So you wanna start in the middle. Then you wanna just keep going in the middle. So now my brother 
brother is going to start doing his. Can you explain what you're going to do for yours? Um, I'm just going to put um, all the colors I can and see what it turns out to be. So for this one, we just put a bunch of layers of spray paint. And, and black and gray. Yeah, black and gray. We went down first like this. We didn't go sideways. And as we went down, we spun it. So it has this nice spiral effect. And of course, the bottle's a bit too big for the tub, so we didn't get to this part. But it looks pretty good. And I recommend wearing gloves, otherwise you have all this black marks around you. Like this. So, wear gloves. But, yeah, otherwise it turned out pretty good in the end. You know, you can see our progress. And then finally, we finally got better. Yeah, we, all, we only had like orange, black, and gray. So you try to do like lighter colors. Yeah, that's true. If you're gonna go with dark colors, I recommend, you know, white and gray. Don't really black. use so much. Cause you know, we didn't have a lot of color options either. I recommend wearing gloves, and spiral masks. effect, mask. So now we're gonna spray it with some of our clear coating so it's nice and smooth. And we'll get back to you. So guys, we have finished all of our pots and bottles. We have our first flower pot, which was the first one that we created. It was a bit lumpy, but it's abstract, so you know, it doesn't matter. Then we have our flask here, nice and orange, black and white, and our cap that matches the bottle, so that's good. Then we have our bottle with white, orange black Some so gray. these three were like orange black gray right all of that but then we figured out the black and the gray mix good together so first we got the pot and then we have our bottles uh, yeah but this one is more cosmic like yeah galaxy. so Lux, like i said for this one, we um, went with the bottle going down first, and as we went down, we spun it to get the spiral effect. And then, of course, we painted the cap gray to match the bottle. Grayish black. Grayish black. And then she did a leaf. Mm -hmm. And you can use a leaf. You can do the same thing with a leaf. Yeah, but we recommend doing bottles because yeah. the leaf is kind of flimsy. So this is what we started from to what we ended in. And I think we really progressed. We did well. It was a success. And I recommend doing this. It's fun. You get a nice design without having to go buy stuff. You can just do spray paint with, at home. And it's a fun activity to do with kids and adults. So yeah, don't forget to subscribe. Comment down below what I should do next and give this a thumbs up if you enjoyed watching 
and I'll see you next time on Neela's Creative World. Bye! Bye! <laughs>